guys hey everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome to the channel on this channel we try to cover all things reality tv news and gossip as well as trending topics and why does it say nobody's on the live stream i know that's not the case i see you guys in the chat um so yeah you guys we're going to be talking about ryan edwards team mom dad he is the dad to bitley he was with macy in the 16 and pregnant episodes and um he went on to have a pretty troublesome life with addiction arrest rehab his relationship with macy didn't work out he got married to mckenzie his wedding was a huge moment for um team mom due to the fact that he was extremely under the influence on the way to the wedding um so yeah he married mckenzie back in like 2017 i want to say they split up earlier this year in january 2020 nope 24 um 23 2023 they split up january 2023 with her leaving him in february and so much has happened since then he was arrested several times in a matter of like two months he was arrested literally like four or five times um he's went to rehab he's got a lot going on in his life okay he it's, it's wild right mckenzie filed for divorce it was later dismissed due to inactivity but she went and she asked the court to um allow her to refile but at the same time that she asked to refile ryan filed as well and ryan is literally asking for primary custody of their children they have two children together he's asking for primary custody of the children he is asking for child support he's asking for alimony alimony is literally when you divorce and the other your ex-partner pays you it's like child support, but for the adult. And usually in most cases, some states are not alimony states. I think Louisiana is. But usually in this instance, from what I am gathering, alimony is usually like when a woman doesn't work because she has stayed at home to, to provide for the kids. So she doesn't like have the ability to get a job that would allow her to make a decent sized income to tend to the kids. So like, in the case of a divorce she would financially not be okay to pay the household bills so the ex-husband for, for a set amount of time will pay alimony a set amount of money right um so the fact that he is literally asking for alimony is wild considering when he films for the show, he makes way more money than she would make. Hey, Heather. Everybody, welcome, Heather, to the LB family. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. Alimony. David Eason is going to be asking for alimony next. I know. I'm I, Literally, I really would not be shocked if he asked for alimony. Um, I am shocked at Ryan Edwards asking for alimony, though, to be quite honest. Wild. I'm like, what are you smoking to, to, to ask this? So let's get into it, you guys, because it's pretty wild. So Ryan Edwards... His demands are to be primary, the primary parent for the children. He is asking for alimony and child support. And he wants a lien put on Mackenzie's home if she doesn't pay the child support. I wonder, I don't know, but Macy, what do you say to this? Macy, I'm just curious to see that Ryan is literally requesting child support and then telling the judge, oh, and by the way, if she doesn't pay the child support, can you put a lien on her home? Because I'm pretty sure Ryan has never paid child support on Bentley the way that he is supposed to. So Ryan, how would you feel if Macy did that to you? If Macy said, you know what? You're not paying child support, so I'm going to go petition the court to put a lien against whatever it is that you could own, that we could put a lien, a lien on for your unpaid child support. That is wild. Who told him to do this? I feel like he can't think that far. I have a feeling, you guys, and this is a gut feeling, that Jen and Larry are behind this. Okay? Gut feeling. It's only a gut feeling. Nobody told me this. I have no sources giving me any of this information. But 
Jen and Larry or they are very much behind Ryan with the situation. While they communicate with Mackenzie and they do the back and forth with getting the kids and they are they are civil with her, they are not on her side by any means at all. And we already know that Ryan does not have the ability to come up with this idea himself. So somebody put him up to this, okay? Anyways, Ryan and his soon-to-be ex-wife Mackenzie are currently in a battle for their kids and in a proposed parenting plan created by Jen and Larry, I mean Ryan, last month, the teen dad is asking for 50-50 custody, but for him to be the primary parent, so while the kids would spend 50% of the time with him and 50% of the time with her, he is asking that he be the primary parent, so he be in charge. Their their domicile residence would be with him. Like, he would be the one to make the decisions regarding the kids. Uh, well, but he would only have them 50% of the time, and then she would have them 50% of the time. He's asking for child support, alimony, and, and more. Okay, so the son, on Wednesday, uh, they reported that Ryan filed for a proposed parenting plan. Ryan asked to be designated their primary residential parent of five-year-old Jagger and four-year-old Stella, kids that at this age are probably highly attached to the parent that has been with them the most, which would be Mackenzie in this instance. I mean, Ryan has been out of the house for over a year. Even He wasn't even at Jagger's birth. He was in rehab. I mean, he was in rehab for a few months after Jagger was born. How much has he really been away? These kids, I'm sure, are very much attached to Mackenzie, I would assume. So splitting them 50-50 to put them in a house with a man who has never raised children, I, I cannot see this happening. He also asked that Mackenzie pay him child support using the money she earns at her job. This outlet says they can reveal, exclusively exclusively reveal that Ryan has made millions during his nearly 15 years on MTV. He's made millions, but it's, he doesn't, ha you know, he doesn't have anything to show for it because of his addiction. But he also asked the judge to vest the title to marital or separate property to allow, to vest the title to marital or separate property to him as alimony. So now he wants things that they may have gotten that could be considered as marital assets or possibly separate, just separate to McKenzie, that he received that as alimony. What? In addition, Ryan is asking the judge to make McKenzie pay his attorney fees as well as any legal fees that he incurs for defending the interests of his children. I am mind boggled. He is literally asking that McKenzie pay his attorney fees. If I was McKenzie, I would literally be like, yeah, now I'm asking that you pay my attorney fees because you're the one that wrecked our home. Literally, literally you wrecked our home. You're the one who relapsed, got on drugs, went crazy thinking that I was cheating, busted up our home. So yeah, you threatened me. You held a knife up to my back. Like, so yeah, I had to file for a divorce. And now you're making me pay for it? Or you want to make me pay for it? This is, I'm mind blown, you guys. Mind blown. Ryan is so adamant that McKenzie pay him child support that he wants, he is so adamant that McKenzie pay him the child support he wants that he has asked the judge to have a lien be imposed on McKenzie's house to ensure the payment of any child support. So he wants to receive McKenzie's property as alimony, and then he wants a lien placed on her home to ensure that she pays child support. <laughs> Jagger and Stella have been living with McKenzie since she and Ryan split in early 2023. In his proposed permanent parenting plan, Ryan says he wants the kids to reside with him 182 and a half days out of the year 
and 182 and a half days with McKenzie out of the year. Ryan is currently living with his girlfriend, Amanda Connor, whom he met last year while in rehab. Amanda also has a child who she does not have custody over. He asks that the kids be exchanged between him and McKenzie every other week, with the exchange happening on Fridays at 6 p.m. Until McKenzie and Ryan settled their divorce, both were asked not to move the kids out of state or within 50 miles of the home they once shared together without permission from the other parent or the court. Amongst other things, they are also asked to refrain from canceling insurance premiums for the kids or each other and to not hide, destroy, or spoil in, in whole or in part any evidence electronically stored our own computer hard drives or other memory storage devices. Mac and Ryan are both asked not to give away, hide, or dispose of any marital property without the other person's consent. McKenzie has yet to respond to Ryan's proposed plan. I would be furious. But then again, here's the deal. I don't think this is ever going to happen. I don't think there's one lawyer on the face of the planet that would look at Ryan's record and say, yes, you need to have custody of these two kids. Less than a year ago, you were on body camera footage being arrested with needles in your pocket, drugs in your pocket, not just in it. We ain't talking about marijuana. We're talking about the big H. And I'm not. Here's the thing. I don't I don't want to say like I'm like talking about addicts. I have addicts in my family, uh, recovering addicts in my family. But heroin is a drug that it is extremely hard to overcome. And I've read stories about people that will be a year or two years sober and then just fall off. That is. A, that's a job to and to for a man that's never raised children, really. For a man that has never really raised children and, and been responsible, because here's the thing. If if a judge was to give Jagger and Stella to Ryan, that is not a man displaced to take them to and from school. I mean, that, that would be on you, buddy. I mean, she could help, but you're going to be like the primary person in that house to tend to them. What happens if you get overwhelmed? What happens if they're up all night, you know, throwing up and you're up with them? Um, that stress is something you just don't i don't know i don't think you need this right now like i don't know why you would even propose this idea to have two children i think you need supervised visitation with bentley with with jagger with stella for a while you are too new in your sobriety for this i am mindful but unfortunately funky says that the judges in that county are stupid enough to give him the kids child support and alimony look at what they allow him to get away with now max should be worried i agree you know, us on the outside looking in, we're like, there's no way. But look at all that they've allowed Ryan to do so far. I mean, he was literally busted going like 185 miles per hour on his motorcycle while on probation. And what did they do? Nada. Nothing. He was ordered to go to rehab. Left rehab early against court orders. Overdosed crashed his truck into a light pole or a tree on the side of the road. Okay, he went to jail for a couple of days, got a few charges, and still to date, like nothing has really happened from that. Like what? Yeah, I agree. Um, Ryan doesn't want those kids. He wants to hurt Matt. Why has he never filed anything like this in regards to Bentley? Only Jagger and Stella. Why has this never been... Bentley, it's been like, okay, my mom and dad, and I'll go there and see them. But Jagger and Stella, you're going to, I mean, honestly, I think that this is to be done to hurt McKenzie as well. And I think that's sad that those two kids who have not had you as a constant in their life, but they have had McKenzie as a constant in their life, and probably their biggest memories of you are scary memories, I would assume. Because Mackenzie wrote in her statement for an RO that when you threatened her, when you threw her down, when you put a knife to her back, all these things happened in the presence of the children. So these kids, I doubt they feel like a thousand percent safe with you. Oh, thank 
you. I thought I looked a little dark. Uh, Missy Elliott. I love I love that name. Um, L off topic, but I want to say your set looks great today. Lighting the camera. Also, you look pretty. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I thought I looked a little dark today. Like the lighting wasn't that great. So thank you. Um, so I'm just. Ryan's parents do have money. Yes. They do have money and they have supported him financially in his legal, uh, in the legal aspect of his life. They have been there for him to get him out of trouble uh, financially and with their connections to the judges. So I'm shocked, you guys. I am just like mind blown. Uh, Ryan, if you're doing this, really sit down and think about this, Ryan. You don't really want what's going to come with raising two kids 50% of the time. And if I was Amanda's son and I found out that my mom is wanting to take in two kids, <laughs> but not me, somebody else had to has, has had to raise me and now my mom's like trying to take in two other kids, I would be highly upset. I would I would be like, wow, really? So you got this boyfriend that you've known for like a year. Now you're going to take in his two kids and raise them, but not, you haven't even tried to get me. I would be offended. I don't think they're paying the judge off. Um, they know the judge. The judge, two judges in two different counties are their friends. So I don't think they're actually paying the judge. I think the judge is doing this as a friend for for, for, you know, for a friend. You know, I don't think they're paying the judge. Yes. Yes, he did. Didn't he text? Yep. He sent Mackenzie a text just like two months ago um, saying that no one will survive this. Probably this custody thing will be, yeah, if you give them the house, I'll give you the custody. Yeah, or something like, well, I'll drop it and I'll let you keep the kids if you do X, Y, and Z for me. Yeah, I agree. Oh, I would not be shocked. I know people that have done this. I literally know grandparents who have paid their, their son's child support to keep him from like getting arrested for back for back time or losing his license for back time. Yes, they know two of the judges in two different counties that Ryan has been arrested in. <laughs> yeah. Can you imagine how Bentley's gonna feel when he hears this? He has grown up, he is so grown now, there's no exactly what about Bentley, who literally has been raised by his mom. And Jen and Larry, there's been no fight for Bentley. So I just don't understand this. I, I think this is not going to make him look any better. I think it's going to make him look worse. I think it's going to make a man's child feel some type of way. Bentley, he may not say anything, but I think it's going to make him feel some, some type of way. Um, and I just don't see this happening. If I was Mackenzie at this point, I would revise my petition if I've filed one yet. And I would ask that, you know what, because you're the reason that I had to dissolve this marriage. I am asking that you pay my legal fees since he did that to her. Who knows what will happen considering the corrupt judge? I do agree with that. I do agree. It's hard to tell, you know. Uh, is it the same type of judge? We don't know. I don't know what judge. I, so I, I, don't, I don't know what judge would um, be presiding over this. I would assume family court is different than criminal. FYI, team my family reunion is on tonight at 8 p.m. Oh, that's very boring so far. Y'all, what are y'all thinking about team my family reunion? Mackenzie and her man, Kess, they just showed up like last week or something. And Mackenzie waited for a minute to approach Cheyenne. Mackenzie said she wanted to just like give it some time before she approached Cheyenne, but Cheyenne seemed to be irritated that Mackenzie did not approach her sooner. Okay, criminal judges do not sit in family court. Well, maybe some places, but where I live, 
it's the same judge, but we, I live in a very small town. I live in a super small town. We have one judge that is over everything. Yeah, I definitely think it's just out of spite. But I'm not going to say I'm not a little concerned because of the pull that his family seems to have, you know? But that's where we're at right now, you guys. I'm going to keep y'all updated on this. Ryan does have court later this month for the... the um possession harassment and there's one other charge that he had i can't remember what it was but he has court later my, that's my thing too is like you still have pending charges for possession harassment dui that's what it was possession dui and harassment how are you gonna like you're going up against a woman who's never been arrested you're going up a woman who has never been arrested like the most she got is like some speeding tickets possibly and i don't even know if that's the case like put her up against you and i just like what confused that you would even think this would be possible can we just hope the judge that handled the bentley custody is the same one for this case as bentley seems to have been protected yeah Yeah, Christy said, I was going to say, if it's a small town, the judge might preside over both kinds of cases. That's how it is here. How does he even have a license to take them to school? I don't think he does. I mean, last I heard, he didn't. If a judge gives him this, they should be disbarred. Yep, I agree. Ryan does not live with his parents. So a few months ago, maybe six months or so ago, him and his rehab girlfriend, Amanda, they moved in together. Anyways, you guys, we're going to continue to keep up with this because this is wild. In Georgia, no qualification. But another person can have it unless married. Hmm, non parent. I'd be gone by 10 p.m. That's interesting. I've never heard of this, Brittany. Hmm. I don't have to look into that. Um, I've never heard of that, but that is interesting. So anyways, you guys, we're going to go ahead and end this one out. I'm working on recording a pre-recorded video about Mama June possibly stealing money from her granddaughter, Caitlin. Oh, we have court coming up in a few six days is court. Um mama june versus michael carwell for custody over caitlin i'm gonna be driving into georgia for that so um getting excited not gonna lie but i'm gonna be recording that uh video in just a little bit so um hopefully it'll be up tomorrow sometime is the judge still the one that knows the family we're not sure hopefully not i'll see if i can pull the records and we'll see if it says who the judge is um, but anyways, you guys, like, share, subscribe. We are getting to 100,000 subscribers this year. I promise you we're getting there. I'm putting it out into the universe. This channel is your favorite channel. So if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button because we are getting to 100,000 subscribers this year. Like, share, subscribe. Follow me on my other social media platforms. Are you going to stream the court case? So here's the deal. Um, cameras, while I'm unsure if they can be allowed in, one thing that I know like one of the main concerns for Michael, Michael's family concerning Caitlin is her being on the show. They want to protect her privacy, that they feel that her being on TV is just not the best thing for her. Uh, from my understanding, they worry that June only wants Caitlin for that, for that reason, to profit off of her. So, um, while I'm not sure if the courts are going to allow cameras, I am not going to bring cameras in. Um, they probably won't because it is in regards to a minor, so I doubt it. I'm going to go in and take some notes. I'm going to try to do a little body language because I know June's going to be there, obviously. 
I hear pumpkin may be there. Dodo may be there. So I'm going to go in with my little notebook. I'm going to write down, you know, what's going on. I'm going to see if I can break down some body language, try to write down what I'm seeing from different people. Um, I know he wants a lean put on the house and he destroyed. Make it make sense. So as far as I know, cameras are not allowed, but I feel like June and WeTV, they are going to try to petition the court to allow cameras in. And if they don't, I feel like they're going to have cameras right outside. But I'm not going to. I'm just going to take my notes. Um, I know Jodo has already said, like, she's like, uh, she said she was excited to meet me. So I plan on meeting Dodo. Um, I don't think she'll say anything about the court case because she has said she's not going to talk about it. I'm going to see if I can talk to Michael while there. So, yeah. Are June's daughters testifying for Michael? I don't know. They should. If I was Michael, I would subpoena them to testify. To be quite honest. I know, right? Surprise TMZ doesn't live stream some of the trials. Yeah. Um, but anyways, you guys like share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.